Hey peeps and welcome back to Nicola Plays and welcome to YouTube if you're new. Um, welcome to the beautiful tropical islands that we're living on. I really love the tropical islands. It's really, really like awesome looking. I live in Norway if you didn't know and it doesn't look like this here. You know, not that any place really looks like a place where there's a lot of blocks except maybe in Denmark at Legoland. But the, those are different kind of blocks. Uh, today I'm um, not really sure what we are going to do except I'm I'm thinking we're gonna focus on storage so we need a place to place the storage things because yeah the oh hello lag well nice to meet you I guess uh, we are running out of storage place and like this is going to be a saloon-ish area I suppose like there's gonna be a bar over oh, over there, I'm thinking. And then there's going to be tables and whatnot over here. So yeah. We're gonna get rid of all this stuff. So we need we need more room basically for all the things. Um last time we took a look at um at cyclic or several of the cyclic things. That is actually also one thing that we're gonna start off with. We're gonna make this thing. So I need, I need two of these. Uh, I hope I have some bones. Yeah, I do. Let's grab those. And we need some diamonds and emeralds. And I said that while taking out the other things. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. So let's go in here. See, we can make that. Yep. And this has like 9,000 durability and it's a 3x3. Three three. And it is pretty awesome because it acts just like the hammer. Except it also acts as the excavator at the same time from Tinkers. So it's pretty decent. Um, I did something. I did add stairs going down here for our basement. I did make a little candle thingy and just a bit stuff here and then there's a layer of um, of glowstone inside, that's why it's lit up, because, you know, five lava pieces isn't gonna lit this place up. So, let's see. kinda wanna get a regular pickaxe, but do I not have one? Yeah, I don't. Right. Um, we might just make one out of stone. For now, just cause I feel like I might want to remove one stone here and there. So it would be nice if this had like a mode, like the Botania one does, the Terra Shatter. That one has like modes, so that you can turn it into, you know, several wide range or just one. I'm thinking I'm going to... Actually, I could just do this. Oh, a little bit of lag. Oh, is it gonna be doing that all the time? I honestly think that has something to do with, not with the tool itself, but with my connection to the server. I've been having some weird issues. Like, so everything feels like it's slow motion. It's weird. I hope you're all having a good day. Mine could be better. Uh, I'm um, sleeping very badly lately because, well, actually, I don't know why. It might be a cyst or something, but I don't know yet. I'm waiting for the results. And I was hoping I would get some more results today from the docs, but they didn't call, so I'm going to call tomorrow. Uh, I have something called PCOS, which has a lot of different uh, symptoms and... It affects me differently, but basically it stands for polycystic ovary syndrome, uh, which means that I have a lot of cysts on my ovaries, and that it really, really blows. Um, and lately I've been having a lot of stomach pain, which I've been keeping me up, which is why I probably sound a little drowsy. So sorry about that. But yeah, that is a big issue for me. Jesus, the lag there. 
Oh my god. So yeah, that's just a little small update on what's going on with me. I hope you guys are doing a lot better. Uh, but yeah, enough about illnesses. Don't really talk, like talking too much about it. Um, yeah, let's see. Will I break stairs while I'm doing that? No? Okay, good. We need to go one up too. Oh my god. God, this, this this lag is horrible. I'm very curious to see if anyone else on the server is having this issue with the uh, with the cyclic multi tool. It's called a Matic, by the way. If you didn't see that, but yeah. Oh, the lag is horrible. I need to go one more that way. And suddenly it became a lot better. Weird. So this is not gonna be a pretty room. I'm not gonna bother prettying it up or anything. At least not yet. Uh, let's have a look. Is there any crosses? No. Good. Alright. Um, so yeah. What I am going to start doing is... If we come in here and... Let's put away, put away our stuff here. Ooh, that one is full. I made a trash can somewhere there. And let's put away the stove too. Yeah, I did make a lot of uh, uh, drawers, trim drawers, whatever they're called, uh, frame drawers. So we need to figure out what we want to frame them with. So I'm thinking this is a good color combination because then we can see what's actually there. But I don't know. Shall we? Maybe we should do a white trim and then a black background to see things better. But then we have the coal and stuff which will kind of disappear. I mean... All of these will disappear in the background that looks like the same thing, so... Huh. I guess we could switch it out and have black trim, white background for the black stuff and the other way around. Yeah. Okay, so... What was this for again? That was for... Yeah, that was for the trim around. Yeah, okay, so let's do this. Like that. Um, we can always change it if we felt like it. We're gonna need more basalt and uh, stuff. Was it alabaster or marble? Marble. Okay. So like that. And that. Then let's bring the key. And I did make this ahead of time because I knew that we were gonna work with this. Uh, yeah, so let's th have that there. Easy start. Ooh, I'm gonna have to relog. Hmm. Oh no, it's definitely not the tool, it's definitely my connection to the server. It doesn't say anything bad, but yeah, I've been feeling it for a long time now. It's really annoying. It's one of the reasons I'm having issues recording, if I'm gonna be honest. to relog to fix that. Oh, no, there it went up. Okay. I do not know why I'm having that issue. If you think you have a solution, that would be great. It only happens on this server too, which is bad. Right, I should probably not have placed anything there. 
and we need to go get trim. Let's see, trim, trim, trim would be in here. I only have three. Luckily, that's more than we need. Let's go grab a hammer. And then I'm thinking we can use RF tools or something in here to scan all of it and be able to see it on like a hand controlled thingy. I'm doing this a bit random on purpose. Ah, this worked out kind of good. Right. So now we have some left for for the things. I want to change out you. Yep, yeah, checkerboard makes it confusing on the eyes. I feel like because of range, you should probably be here. I'm thinking. Instead of there, actually. Because I think it only has so and so much range. I'm not sure about that. But I think. Okay, so now we have a lot of storage room. Now I just need to move everything down here. Which is probably gonna take a little bit of time. Storage moved. Well, most of it. Uh, the tools and such in here from Dungeoneering is still there. I have not touched the food, but everything else... Um, uh, yeah. These are basically just for building, I think, so... Yeah, okay. Ignore those, just ignore those. And I'm still having that lag. The uh, server has rebooted and I've restarted my client, I've changed some settings, and yeah. Jay is hoping that it's because of all the chisel and bits thing around here, but you know, I, I've played on servers. Um, take my Direwolf 20 series, for example, which. I guess had more chisel and bitsing than this, and so does Qantas? I think Qantas has more than this. Maybe not. But at least Modern World 20 did, and like that didn't lag like that, so I'm doubting, like, yeah, I'm doubting that that's the case, and I don't think it's the chickens either, because there's not a whole bunch of chickens in there anymore. I've killed off quite a few of them. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I have no idea. I even set down like the render distance thingy so that it doesn't try and do more than the server does, but we'll see. I'll, I'll uh, take a look at it and work some more with it, like, off camera. Uh, I did get an android from doing some more beans for fun, um, but yeah, let's get to the storage stuff. I did this, I moved all that up and all this here is now sorted. These are gonna be the same, like this is wool, that is clay, that is glass, that is glass panes. And they're gonna be the same all, you know, placement and such all over. Uh, here is gonna be the colors. Um, those do not follow the placement rules of these because they are not in the same cluster. Um, yeah. If I had five high, I would have sand on top, but yeah, sand goes there. Uh, what else? Yeah, another room. This is for the ores. I moved the ore chest content in here. And yeah, that, <laughs> this is that, basically. Um, we are gonna work with something and we're gonna place there in just a moment. Uh, but right down here, I made another room. And this is for all the the machinery and such, so yeah. And then there's the chest with the things for the eyes and the limbs and everything. Cyberware stuff. So yeah, um, 
You've probably seen me done this before if we, you watch my channel. Um, but we are going to build um, the modular storage stuff just to hook up with the stuff in the... Oh god, I can't, I can't even... In the mining world, yeah. So I was thinking maybe we should do some dungeon stuff because this is all of the quartz I have. But uh, hopefully it will be enough. So we need chest, we need quartz, we need uh, lapis or the color blue. I do not have the color blue, so let's go for lapis, redstone, and chest, yep. Yeah. And then for this, we need gold, iron, and more quartz. Iron, gold, how many was that for? And let's see what else. We, we still need the chests. Let's see, let's grab chests. And yeah, maybe we should upgrade to at least a pair two. Then we are going to need the remote 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 storage. Ugh, jeez. Under pearls rip. Right, let's see now. What else do we need? Do we need anything more? I don't think so. So we are going to need more of these. I'm just gonna make a few. Let's see, we're gonna need three of these for now. We're gonna need more in the future though. We're gonna need two of these. And Oh, what? Oh, because it was placed in the... That is a little stupid with this thing. If you have things in there, you search it up, try to make a new a recipe, it doesn't see what's in there, which is kind of annoying. Oh, my under pearls. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> We're gonna have to survive. Um, God, my quartz and everything is suffering so bad right now. We need one of those, and we need this. Oh, we know. We don't have enough underpulls. Oh no. I need more underpulls. And I need it like yesterday. Is there a way to... Because I didn't check this. Oh. That is so lame. Ooh. That's not good. Uh, inventory pets. What would an inventory pet eat? Let's see. Ender. Ender, ender, ender. I thought we had all of it. I completely forgot about the... So what else is new, you know? Uh, ender pet. Favorite food, obsidian nugget. Huh. Huh. Okay, okay. Let's see. That and those. Let's see if this actually works. I do not know. You know just as much as I do at this point. Unless you actually know. <laughs> uh, right, uh, we can have to make it because I have gold on me. So like that. Okay, an under mob. Now, what about the food you needed? Obsidian nuggets. So, obsidian, oh no, wait, what? That was weird. Obsidian, obsidian nugget, 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 nugget. Obsidian nugget. Ah, oh, that is easy. Uh, we need more. Oh, we need more dirt. Here. It's weird that you need dirt there. Oh yeah, do you see that? This mouse has started double clicking too. Which is very annoying. Let's 
So, eat. How does this work? Hmm. Okay. Pearl. It's made from under nuggets. Oh, I went to the conclusion that the under pet would. Oh. Okay. So it doesn't actually give you anything, but you can teleport with it. Okay. I guess that's fun. I guess. Uh, what are we gonna do with the cold nugget? Um. Oh, I know. Trash can. Huh. So that was wasteful. But I guess it's okay. We are learning stuff. So what do we do for Ender Pulse? Oh. They do have these. Just harvested that one. But we need more Ender Pulse like today. That is a quick. I don't feel like going into the dungeon when I'm lagging like that. It just does not seem safe. I could do that. I don't have much need of um, tears. So I could do that. Um, there. Yeah, I have four. We need two, right? Let's see. Actually, I think we need four. Yeah, we need four. So we need all of them. Because we need to also... We need to have one on the receiving end, one in the sending end, which will be in the mining world. I did this thing, uh, I don't know if I showed you. I found a tutorial on YouTube after I saw way back how Nonsanity did it on Compus. I looked up the tutorial and uh, yeah, it's there, look it up. I don't remember who did it yet though. Okay, so. In this one. Here we go. Let's see. Dun, dun, dun. And we have two. Great. Thinking we should make the level two one. At least. What is it for level three? <laughs> no. We can't even do that. No. Alright. Heading back. The cool thing about that uh, boat dispenser is that there is a cactus underneath those. So when I drive into it, -da, picks up the boat, gets caught up in the hoppers, put into the dispenser again, and I'll always have a boat there. Which is really cool. Alright, lag. And we're in. So now, if we went down here, we took requires energy to do this, so we are going to put this at the bottom. Uh, actually, we are going to go get the smart wrench, which I put in there, like so, so that you can change the side on this thing. I'm gonna put it up there and then we'll put this thing there and that there okay this has now remote ID one and that has remote ID one now what I can do is I'm going to place there's a, a slave down there. So if I place this here, and I do always on, so everything that is already sorted 
will be dragged out of there and what is not will stay in there because all the drawers are locked, right? So now I can put that in there and you know right now of course it doesn't have anything in there but if I am to put this in here it will slowly but surely go into its rightful place. But for right now because it takes forever since I don't have any item upgrades I'm gonna just do that and then I'm gonna grab two of these to close that up and then we're gonna head to the mining world where I'm going to hook it up there as well. We're gonna still have the buffer um, storage there but at least this way we can send our items back home. Loading, stopping answering, loading, there we go. Oh, right. oh no rubber banding back into the portal. Weird. So now it should, I've also put void upgrades and all these. So it should go in there. Also, let's see, if I do that, and I set priority 2 on that just so that it tries to do that before it tries to drag stuff out of here. And as you can see, it has found a dungeon, because I, I remember seeing one when I was manually mining, but it's been such a long time I forgot. Uh, so this world is a, basically like a stone copy of the overworld. So that means that there is one right next to our house. Just have we can just calculate it out from like the portal, which direction and everything if we so desired. But yes, yeah, so let's see here. Let's put this in here and of course I forgot to do a setting. Um Okay, let's let's go back. We have to go into the remote storage scanner thingy. It's not the storage scanner, it's the remote storage. I need to set it to allow dimensional. It's gonna cost more power, but let's see, cross dimension access disabled, enabled. So now that should work. I might have to go and like activate it again. Nope. Yeah. Seems like, yeah, it's working. So now if I were to take this and... Because you remember we saw that we had more than this in the other dimension. So if I do this, they are gonna slowly but surely fill up. See? So now we have everything coming in here. Which is great. The gold ore and everything should have a place in here. So as long as I try and keep up with like emptying this out, having a home for everything, this should go pretty fast and easy. And of course the stack upgrades for the conduits would probably go be a good idea too. But we solved our storage issues and we are now getting all the things here. Uh, the only thing I need to do now every now and then is to go and fill up with more coal and axes and such for the wood farm in the, in the mining world. Talking about farms, we should check up on this. This still has a lot of hose, so that's good. Maybe you're not making enough oil, which is weird. That is crystallized. That should have sent out a signal to pick up that. Hmm. There we go. We just needed to reboot it a little bit. Okay, cool. It is now making a bunch of this. Nice. 
I think maybe I'm going to make a tank here or a drum to store some of it. I think that would be a good idea. Let's go make a drum. I don't have the resources on me, no. Also, let's not be rude. Hello, Jay. I saw he logged in, but I completely forgot like two seconds after because my head was busy. Let's see, let's let's make an iron drum. Like so this Yes, the recipe has not changed. Good good. And let's go place it down here so that we can have a little bit of storage. So let's do an in and out, auto extract, always active. And yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is so good. Oh, did it stop again? Why? I had this issue on the Dirtwolf 20 thing too. Uh, I need to hook up... Um, what is it called? What is it called? Uh, it's called... Uh, it's RF tools as well. Uh, sequencer it is called. Uh, how do you make that? Sequencer... Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Let's uh, go and make that real fast too. Oh, like. Okay. Do we have sticks on us? Yeah, we do. We needed four torches. And how did you make this again? All right. Two, three. Oh, oh. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then just four more redstone. Oh yes, that is going to be very helpful to us. Um, yes, that would be great, because I asked uh, in uh, Discord if anyone had Rotten Flesh or, or Gunpowder, because uh, I needed to trade with these. I hear that there's two of them in there, but I can only see one. Weird. Let us open up the map thingy. Chat. There we go. I need to re-log again. Because, yeah, it's not visible. Maybe just going to the mining world will help too. Uh, right. Yeah, those uh, we can trade for emeralds in there, which has something to do with the cyclic stuff that I wanted to show you. Alright, let's lag to... oh my god. Let's remove this one. Let's put that in. Let's turn it around. I'm gonna need to go and get one more of these redstone conduits. Sometimes I really regret having those um, trafters there. Let's see, redstone. Here we go. I only have one left there, so a good thing we don't need anymore. Now, I'm not pro at the sequencer thing. I barely understand how it works. So, just saying. So we need to connect that there. Save that. And 
Then the redstone signal is received, loop the cycle once. Uh, loop the cycle once. Restart if new poles arise. Loop the cycle all the time if the redstone signal. Loop the cycle all the time. Restart on redstone poles. Loop the sig a cycle when redstone signal is present. Continue at current step. Yeah, that's what we want. Because when this then senses that thing, this one will make that go continuously so that if it is hung up, then it will remind this thing to actually pick it up. Because this one reacts to a redstone pulse, not a continuous redstone signal. So that is going to help us solve this issue. So yeah, I'm going to go and... Uh, Meet up with Jay. Hey Jay, let's see. God like. Did he go away already? He's not on Discord. I had to go check. Ooh, nice. We thank you. Oh, YouTube, he says. <laughs> okay, cool. Now we can. Now we can trade. Now we can trade. Finger. Um, you want in return. Now I can go trade with the, um, the villager. Only one of them though, since the other one has decided to become invisible. So, let's see. This one, this one wants this. Okay, he says it's good. We're gonna need so much of this, it's insane. He says he's good though, but I'm gonna make him something as payment. Uh-oh. I'm gonna have to trade something back. I'm thinking we are going to go and get some gold for this dude. But yeah, I'm gonna be trading this off-camera stuff and I'm probably gonna re-log and such to get... um. To get the other one visible for the gunpowder, and uh, hopefully next time. Actually, that is a very bad idea. I want to do it this time. How many did I get? I have twelve. Oh, he's learning new stuff too. Oh, Ender pearls. That is. Oh my god. I love you, Cleric. I love you. Okay, we have cool stuff now. And it's unlocked again. Sweet. That is so good. That is so, so good. And remember me last time I mentioned that we can um, unlock the villagers with the emerald apple? Yeah. That is pretty good. Okay, let's do this one quick thing, because then I can show you later what I'm going to be doing while uh, between episodes. Uh, I'm going to be making the heart canister. So we're going to be making this thing. Uh, basically what it does, it's going to give you one permanent extra heart. So that is what I'm going to be doing, and it requires a block of emerald, which is why I'm going to be trading. So yeah, now you know. Uh, storage is done, and I think it is kind of cool. We have all the things we need, and it's visible for the naked eye, so yeah. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I hope to see you next time. Remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Bye bye! <laughs>